Hey guys, hope you're all doing really well. So today's reading is going to be um, one of those readings that I just do once in a while and it is going to be looking into um, the Divine Masculine's connection with a karmic partner, alright? So um, I am planning on doing a couple of these so I will be trying to get specific information so it will be for specific groups okay so it's going to be general in other words which means it's not going to resonate for all of you because even though it is general it's also going to focus in on a specific group so hopefully from the beginning you will know if this is your situation or not and yeah either way if you want you can get a personal reading with me all of that information is in the description box below this video so yeah with that said, let's get into this. Let's see what group of the collective we are tapping into today to see what is going on. And do keep in mind, I say this every time I do these readings, um, I only do these readings with the intention of giving you a deeper insight and understanding into the connection and how it relates to you and possibly for you to learn some lessons through this or to just see things from a different perspective. All right, so yeah. All right, let's see what's going on with this masculine and their kind of partner. All right, and we have number 24. Um, I can't remember the, the word on this. I think it's strength, actually, the key word for this particular card. Um, which is interesting though, because if you look at the image, right, it's it's showing a little girl holding a teddy bear and she's feeling intimidated, right? Fear. So I'm getting that this is a masculine who is feeling intimidated by their their karmic partner. All right, it's it's like they're feeling very small in comparison to to this person. But let's get let's get another one. All right, and we have the warrior. Okay, so that is actually in line with the key word of this card, which is strength. So yeah, it's like there's something that is very intimidating in this connection, all right, about this other person that they are involved with. However, it's like they're trying to really stand strong. They're trying to be this warrior and actually face, face the fear of this or whatever it is, you know, like fighting for their own self here. But let's get just a couple more and then we'll get into the tarot. Okay. All right. And we have mask, inner child, and bound. Okay, yeah, so with this bound card, I mean, that's definitely talking about codependency. So it could be that, um, I feel like there's some kind of a toxic dynamic here where it's like, this power that the karmic partner has over the masculine, it's like that almost is, oh, it's so weird the way it's coming in. It's almost like that's an addiction for both of them. It's like the masculine feels there's something about that that just makes them more um, intimidated, but also at the same time feeling like they're, they've been so used to it. So it's like this pattern because there's an inner child wound that is showing up. It's being presented through this connection, through the karmic being so overbearing and overpowering. So it could be that for some of these masculines in this group, they may have had a very overbearing or an abusive parent, for example. And this trauma, it's like coming out. Or it could even be the exact opposite. It could be that um, they were neglected. And because they were neglected, it's like now they've fallen into the opposite type of a dynamic where they get so much attention and there's like this overprotectiveness, but in a way where it is actually um, toxic, right? Um, yeah, so that's the dynamic here. And this karmic partner doesn't even have to be really like a romantic partner. It could even be a relative. It could even be the masculine's mother. All right, that would make a lot of sense. And we have mask here because it's like, I feel like this inner child wound has been masked, right? And the masculine is wearing a mask in the sense that this is not where where they're happy, but 
what I'm also getting with this mask is that to the outside world, right, it looks completely different than what's actually going on. So let's get into the details here. Let's see the masculine's energy towards this, this person, because I'm not convinced that it's going to be a romantic partner or a spouse um, for all of them here. They're all in reverse. Um, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the King of Pentacles, all in reverse. All right, this is interesting because, see, and I do, I do really like the fact that we have the Warrior card here because this is actually playing out here. Um, this masculine is actually not consenting with this person anymore, all right? With the Three of Pentacles being in reverse, it's like they're not cooperating. Um, especially also with the Ace of Swords being in reverse and the King of Pentacles being in reverse. It, it, this is somebody who doesn't want to provide more energy to this. Kind of like breaking a contract, breaking a deal. It's like a withdrawal from, from the contract of being this King of Pentacles, right? Of being somebody who is committed to this, who is, is providing. But obviously they are still there. So let's get a little bit more here. Let's see what's going on in their headspace and in their emotional space. Or even how they're viewing this person. All right, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Again, they're all in reverse. Uh, the Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Strength in reverse. So again, it's like that intimidation is, is it's still there. It's still there. We do have the Warrior that's like, <laughs> um, you know, the bit of hope that's here is that this person is, this masculine is stepping into the Warrior mode. Um, however, they are still intimidated, which that is actually how you know that courage is actually playing out because courage is all about facing something even though you are intimidated by it, even though you do feel threatened by it, right? So yeah, they're still they're still intimidated by this. Um, however, they're seeing this person as this um, queen of wands in reverse. So somebody who's not very desirable, but at the same time, somebody who might be jealous, um, Again, just overbearing, overprotective. We will clarify some of these. Nine of Cups in reverse. Wow, it's like just no, no, um, no passion here whatsoever. I am also getting that this is this masculine wanting to break out of that comfort zone here. They are. There is something that brings them comfort, but in a toxic way in this particular connection. Um, let's, before we clarify, <clears throat> let me just move these out of the way a little bit. Here. Let's get some cards for this other person here. See their energy towards all of this. Four of them. We have Justice, the Knight of Wands, the Three of Pentacles upright for them, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Alright. We will clarify. Um, but I feel like this person is trying to trying to get some kind of justice feeling like they are entitled here, all right, especially together with this Knight of Wands. And possibly feeling, um, 
It's almost coming in like one with this Knight of Wands moving towards justice. Wanting to take action towards either making a decision or bringing things in a balance, but in the way that they see fit. And it is coming in like, like feeling entitled to something like they feel like they deserve that three of pentacles. Um, some kind, possibly some kind of a promise that the masculine had made or, you know, something that they had agreed to. And again, it's like, it's not, it's not working out. The two of swords being in reverse, like this, this person, this karmic partner is feeling like, yeah, there is no agreement. Like somebody's going back on that promise or on that deal agreement, whatever it is that they had made. Whether it was written or unwritten, it doesn't matter. And because of that, this is coming in like wanting to take action towards um, making things right. Because in their mind, it's right <laughs> for this per for the DM to actually stick to this agreement. So I hope that made sense. Um, and again, we will clarify. So let's see. Yeah, let's get one more row. All right, interesting that they have they have three knights here, okay? Because we just got the Knight of Cups, um, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. All right, so together with the Knight of Wands, that's three knights here. So there's a and they're all upright. So there's a lot of movement. That this is somebody, um, this karmic partner is somebody who takes a lot of action, is very active, is is doing. Whereas the masculine, I feel it has a way more withdrawn stance at the moment, especially with all of these cards being in reverse, which by the way, them all being in reverse is also telling me like just how um, out of alignment um, this connection is. <clears throat> so this karmic partner is really picking up on this masculine's energy of stepping into that warrior mode, which means that even though they are intimidated by the karmic partner, it's like they're trying to stand up for themselves. They're trying to fight against that intimidation, which to me means that they're not as intimidated. Yes, as I said, right, strength being in reverse here, they are still intimidated, but it's like they're not letting it affect them. It's like they're, they're standing up more in their power. They're working on that strength. And the karmic partner here is picking up on that energy. And so they're, it's like they're taking a little bit of a, um, sweeter stance here with the knight of cups like coming in a little bit more loving a little bit more compassionate but i don't see them moving towards that ten of cups right with it being in reverse it's like they're offering some kind of superficial compassion here but there's something else hiding behind that because then we have this knight of swords like just really taking action. I feel like what they're presenting themselves as is this Knight of Cups, right? Being sweet. But they're not, they're not moving things in that direction of love. It's actually like that's a setup to then become this Knight of Swords where like they just come in quickly and it's like, you know, using that sword. Um, so I don't know what that's about, but yeah, we're gonna clarify and see. And then maybe if, if this doesn't get too long, we can um, also take a look at this masculine's energy towards their divine feminine. And we'll also take a look at what, what is coming up. All right, so let's uh, clarify that top row for the masculines. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords showing up for a second time, this time upright. Um, knowing that the truth here is that this, this commitment, whatever it is, it's done, all right? It's in reverse. It's not... I feel like it's just not what they expected. I feel like with that, especially with this Nine of Cups here, which is right under that Ace of Swords <laughs> in reverse, it's like they once thought that 
this was what they wanted, right? This, they once thought that this was something that was um, either either pleasure, pleasurable if it was, <clears throat> if it's a partner, right? Like a romantic partner, not anymore. Um, or that it was something that, yeah, you know, it was working if it's, if it's like a relative or somebody else. Again, it's just a lot of not, it, it's again coming in as breaking some kind of a commitment, seeing the truth about that and actually taking action here in some way. Like they're not, they're not hiding it. They're not hiding the fact that they're just not a part of this anymore. So let's see this bottom row. Let's see this. All right, the four of wands. All right, <clears throat> the four of wands, the two of cups, and the five of cups. So I feel like these, the last two were actually together. Um, I feel like this four of wands was actually clarifying the queen of wands, um, which is in reverse. Yeah, so this is how they're viewing this karmic partner. And <clears throat> I feel like they are accurate in this, that this... Um, karmic person is possibly jealous and that could be why they're <clears throat> acting in the way that they're acting or why they are involved in this in the way that they are but this is also somebody who really wants that commitment with the masculine um this person is definitely and the masculine knows this right because this is how they're seeing the karmic partner as somebody who really does want this commitment with them. Not only that, I do feel like this masculine does feel like there is a sense of stability here in some way, like maybe they have built something together, maybe they have a house together. There's something here that does provide some kind of safety and <clears throat> stability with this person. But that's the thing though, is that, yeah, and that can be also what is holding them there. However, right, <clears throat> two of cups and the five of cups, that is something of the past. That two of cups, right, regardless of what kind of a relationship they have, that's a thing of the past the you know whatever love there was there and i do feel like the masculine this masculine at the moment is grieving that because it's not there anymore and and it is difficult for them because the five of cups that's not easy energy to be in it could be that they're holding on to some guilt as well here for um the fact that there was once this love between the two of them in whatever way. Let me see that strength card. Uh, Ten of Swords. That's what they're, I mean, obviously this is what their challenge is, right? Um, to fully build up the courage to bring an ending to this. And the reason why it's so difficult for them is because Either they're feeling like they're going to be betraying this person or it's just going to um, fully bring some kind of an ending to them, but in other areas as well, is what I'm getting. Like it's, it's going to feel like they are the ones who are defeated at the same time. But either way, this is what they are building towards. That is what this warrior mode is, right? Gaining that strength to move towards that, that ending, even if it's painful. And that's why it requires strength is because it is painful. So let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's clarify that justice, <clears throat> especially with the Knight of Wands. We have the Six of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the King of Pentacles in reverse, which is showing up for a second time. Yeah, see, so this is, this karmic partner is wanting to take things back to how they were before. That's what this movement is about, trying to get things back to how they were. I do feel like, um, 
See, because they're also seeing this masculine as being this king of pentacles in reverse, knowing that, that the masculine is not holding up to their end of the bargain or not really um, doing what the karmic partner would want them to be doing in terms of responsibilities or, you know, owning their responsibilities or providing, giving, being consistent, being just being there, being dependable. And this is weighing heavy on the karmic partner. And so that's why they're taking this action, trying to bring in justice. And I do feel like they might be going about this by, um, by intimidating the masculine in some way, initially at least, right? Because then I see that's not working. And so then they're trying to be a little bit more charming only to then come in um, being restless and very driven. And I feel like an, it's like a more neurotic kind of an energy that's, that's going to show through or that's showing through, all right? Because for some of you, this could be something that's already happening. For others of you, it could be, you know, kind of like coming up. For others, something that's already happened. Time is relevant here, all right? Uh, yeah, so let's see. Let's clarify this bottom row. All right, and we have the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because something, see, something didn't work out in the way that they expected. All right, it's like they are putting in energy, they're investing in a way, right, with that Knight of Cups being more <laughs> um, lovey. And it's not working out, so then they're switching to this Knight of Swords. And all of this is because they're trying to find a solution um, to what is happening here. Um, they're, they're really in their headspace a lot. I mean, I'm getting with this Eight of Swords, this is trying to, with it being in reverse, right, they're not the ones really in this Eight of Swords energy, it's what they're trying to elicit in the other person, and I do feel like it's being done um, unconsciously for most of them. For some of them it could be deliberate, um, but for the most part I feel like this is going to be unconscious, and it's just because it's making them feel, you know, more secure or feeling like they deserve justice because they feel like what's happening here is unfair, that the masculine is going back on some kind of an agreement, not giving them what they had promised. Again, with this, it's like the, the karmic partner is feeling like they're unhappy. The Ten of Cups is in reverse, right? This connection is falling apart um, because the masculine just isn't going through. Isn't investing anymore. And so they're doing what they can to bring justice to this from their perspective. All right. Uh, yeah, let's see. Um, let's see what's coming up here. Let's see what's coming up. And then maybe just pull a few cards for the feminines. So for the masculine's energy towards this, what is coming up in the near future? Where is this moving towards? Alright, the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, and Justice in reverse. Alright, all in reverse again. Um, okay, so it, what's interesting here is that normally with Justice in reverse, you know, I, I might say something different. But what I'm getting here is it's, it's, I'm being shown the contrast, right, between Justice being upright for, for the karmic and then it being in reverse here for the masculine's future energy, right? So what this is saying is that the masculine is not giving the, the karmic the justice that the karmic is expecting or the, the justice that the karmic is wanting to get. So this is pretty much saying the masculine is not giving in. Like the karmic partner is not getting what they think they deserve from the masculine, which, which is kind of sad, um, but there's definitely lessons in this for them as well that they are learning. Okay, it's, it's providing to their own soul growth as well, but that's just what's happening here. Um, Ace of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I mean, whatever. This love is like so gone, it's not even funny. Um, and I love that we have this Nine of Swords in reverse here because that 
first very first card that we had out right that i was saying it's like this girl being intimidated and then there's this strength that's coming forward right i feel like this pretty much sums it up like this nine of swords in reverse not being so anxious about this anymore not feeling nervous about it not being intimidated not being stuck in fear about not giving in to something that they don't believe in because for the masculine this would be false justice it would not be justice if they were to allow the karmic partner to get what they want from them because it's not what the masculine wants so that's actually really positive um, for the masculines let's see for the karmic person here Alright, we have Strength, uh, the Queen of Cups in Reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting energy. Um, see, I was going to say with that Strength card, I was going to see it as being positive, like being more compassionate. <laughs> I'm finding that because it does take strength to have compassion, right? Um, I would see, and especially because it's upright, I would say it's not over abusing their power. But then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, to throw it all off. But what I do see here is that it, it feels like there's a progression. There's this um, slow movement towards... Towards, them, towards this karmic partner backing off just a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Because I'm, what I'm getting with strength then is that this is them trying to hold back. Hold themselves back from whatever it is that they were doing up here. See, we have another night. <laughs> I think we have like all nights out now. And from the same deck, actually. That's, that's the crazy thing. Because um, I am using two decks, but all four nights are out from the same deck. So a lot of movement here. But what I do see is that there's... Fast movement, then a little bit slower, like trying to be, you know, sweet, and then fast movement again with some neuroticism behind it, and then back to slow. So it feels like there's this fluctuation. But this time, um, again, it's not with the best of intentions. I'm sorry to say that with the, with the Queen of Cups being in reverse. Um, there's definitely, I don't feel like this, this karmic person is really in touch with their own intuition or in touch with their own emotions. I feel like the reason why they're doing this is because the masculine is really coming on, coming out strong here and they really don't have another choice other than to find that strength within themselves to kind of hold back. Like I see this strength card as being like, um, restraining themselves. Right, like that discipline, having to discipline themselves like, okay, I need to take things a little bit more slowly. Although the Knight of Pentacles could also definitely talk about um, coming up with a strategic plan. But I'm not going to clarify these because that's getting too specific for the future um, for this particular reading, which is general. So, um, yeah. Let's just get a few cards. Um, to see this masculine's energy towards their divine feminine, all right? If this resonated with you so far. So, first three cards we got here. Seven of Swords in Reverse, the Two of Cups in Reverse, and Strength. And we just got the Three of Wands. Yeah, they're waiting. I feel like this, um, again, Strength showing up. Strength is like a huge, huge theme here. This Masculine is waiting to build up their strength, all right? Because the three of wands, this is, this is them um, being in a little bit of a waiting energy here. They're waiting to build up 
their strength. So I feel like at the moment they're pretty much avoiding um, the connection with you in a sense, all right, with this Two of Cups being in reverse. They're definitely feeling like like there has been some kind of a deception, I feel like, on their end, even though the Seven of Swords is in reverse because they don't want to be deceiving you anymore. But they feel like because of that, because of um, something that they have not been honest with you about or something that they have not shared with you or, you know, just kept from you. Because of that, they feel like they have deteriorated this connection with you. All right, but they're waiting to build up that strength. Let's get one more. Yeah, before before having um, um, a reconciliation here, obviously, Three of Cups. <laughs> That's not surprising at all. Yeah, so this is, um, this masculine definitely wants this Definitely wants a reconciliation with you, but there's there's some waiting energy around that. Let's see for what is coming up in the near future. So I know this was really brief, um, but that's because I wanted the focus to be on um, the karmic relationship for this reading. All right, so um, coming up in the near future for this group here, we have the Four of Cups in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Empress. Yeah, this is really healing whatever whatever has to do with their, um, number one, with their comfort zone, but mostly what this is, right, with this Four of Cups being in reverse, it's like feeling like there has been a missed opportunity or, you know, maybe they have been ignoring you. And I feel like, you know, with this Empress being upright here, right, that's how they're viewing you, obviously. There's a lot of healing that is happening in order to help to get them to that place where they can actually come forward um, in this Three of Cups energy, right, for that reconciliation. I mean, I still do see them being a little bit passive, to be honest, all right, even in, in the near future. And I feel like that's why we're getting this Three of Wands, because it is something that is taking a little bit of time. I feel like they actually have to heal this connection with the karmic as well. Um, but you're definitely there. You're definitely showing up there. And I feel like whatever it is that has been going on between the two of you, whether in the 3D or just energetically, that too is healing. Whatever it is that was keeping them in this distant um, space. All right, so let's, uh, let's close this out with an oracle card, if this resonated. And we have the full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. I really feel like this is all about the strength that's showing up again. Um, yeah, so I know what the message is saying, but it, it's not really that. It's, it's like the masculine not allowing the karmic partner, right, to have their way. Right, there's a lot of pride here. I feel like it's from the karmic side. It definitely could be from the masculine side as well. Right, so this is something that is being learned within this connection is to not let pride get in their way. I feel like it's actually for the both of them. So yeah, and if for whatever reason this message resonates with you um, for your own self, then definitely take that as well, okay? It's definitely going to be different for all of you. So yeah, that's that's what I got for you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys really soon. Much love.